one. Hunter should have had uh, O'Brien behind the green there. Good pot though, nonetheless. The pink now puts him 20 points in front. This red and a black to go 28 ahead with only 27 remaining. And an 8-3 lead. Which would be within two frames the winning post, the title, and uh, 175,000 pounds. Well, when you know it's an important shot, Seems to make it just that little bit more difficult. And there was the suspicion of a kick. One. Almost impossible task, of course, to win the frame at this visit. <clears throat> Particularly where the yellow was. Eight. Well, surely he's not snooping himself. I don't think so. Well, maybe he's having to swerve well. That's amazing. Well, he must be able to swerve around the brown. Paul Hunter, eight. Just about got it safe. I was just thinking, John, we're in for a late night if this match goes the distance. We certainly are. Bring back the epilogue. No, it's, uh, it's that type of match. Neither player is playing that well. They're making mistakes, and obviously then you're going to get 30, 35 minute frames guaranteed. But here's a slim chance. I don't know whether he can pot the yellow and avoid a cannon on the black. If he can't, then he'll play a snooker. He could now, if he can get good position on the green and drop this green. And this is a sensational shot. Two. Best shot today. These are the five remaining colours. Sorry, up to the, up including the pink he needs. to say that wiped its feet. Blue and pink required.
This is frame ball. Yeah. It took him 29 minutes. But Paul Hunter wins the 11th frame. And will reduce Fred Brown's lead to 7-4.